welcome to another nature workshop. Today we're learning all about grass. Grasses are monocots, which means they have one leaf inside each seed. There are about 12,000 different types of grass that we know about. We use it for relaxing on, we like to play games on it, turn our cartwheels, but it's actually an amazing source of food for us. A lot of our food comes from grass. And a lot of food for animals comes from grass too, which in turn helps feed us too, just like this milk. So grass is really important. It helps clean the air by trapping dust in it. It provides oxygen, just like all plants, but because there's a lot of it, it provides a lot of oxygen. And it prevents erosion by holding the soil together. What I've learned is that grass has been really underestimated. I didn't know all those amazing things about grass and how important it was. And it made me think about all the other things that I just don't really give a thought to. Have I underestimated anything else? Have I even underestimated people and just not realised how important they are? How about you? Have you ever felt underestimated? Talk about that with your family. If you've ever underestimated someone or something, or if you've ever felt like you've been underestimated, how can we stop that from happening? The more you learn about something, the less you're likely to underestimate it. So I use these shapes to help me observe grass more carefully. We then decided to do a grid because then I could take a big space and break it up into small patches to observe. And all I did was take notes and draw pictures and just look carefully at what was in each little square or rectangle. That helped me to see lots of things in the grass, little mini bees, different flowers, all sorts of things. We then took that grid and put it in lots of different places and that helped us just really see the different places that you can find nature. One reason why I don't always do my nature videos in the woods is because it's really important to know that you can do nature studies absolutely anywhere. If there's a sky above you, if there's ground below you, then you can find some things in nature. Now, this 3 2, 1 challenge, I want you to try and do it in a different place than normal. If you normally go to the woods, try and do it on a street. Or if you normally use a book, why don't you try and use the internet this week? So here it is, a 3 2, 1 challenge. Find three different types of grass. Number two, find two different food chains that involve grass. And number one, I want you to just spend one moment standing, sitting, lying down in grass. And just sit there, lie there, stand there and do absolutely nothing. Okay, are we ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Could you make some treasures to hide in grass for other people to find? You could stick things on rocks, you could paint them, you could even write little messages on them for other people to find. We're about to explore some different types of grass right now. While we're doing that, why don't you have a go at this quiz? See if you can learn some really interesting facts about grass. All you need to tell me is, is it grass? What is this lizard on? Is it grass? Yes, bamboo is grass. Are these feathers or is this grass? It's grass. What about these fibre optics? No, but there is grass called fibre optic grass. Now is this grass or a glass? It's obviously grass in a glass. A lot of drinks are made from grass. What about popcorn? Is it grass? Popcorn comes from corn, which is a grass. And how about this lovely lawn here? Is it grass? Nope, it's thick. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Ha <laughs> ha